how to get a Cleveland Clinic elective. Check this video out. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Dr. Slayman, and when I was a medical student, my final elective was a Cleveland Clinic elective, and it blew my mind. I learned so many things in a month, and if you guys have the opportunity, I highly recommend you do it. I had a phenomenal experience. So this is how my application went. We are back at Google with how to apply for Cleveland Clinic Med Student Elective. Here's the main page to get information about what you need to apply for this. I was an international applicant, so that's what we're going for. So first, personal information, these information, and uploading your current photos, and then information about your elective. It was 400 bucks for this elective. I was interested in liver transplant. You pick the main elective that you're interested in and also an alternative elective. There are a couple of things on this step. You have to upload your USMLE scores one and two, letter of good standing. Um, instead of the TOEFL, I uploaded a letter that says I'm a New Zealand citizen and I'm a native English speaker. And then there are a few things like the medical malpractice form that you can provide once you're accepted to this elective. And I'll show you guys in the next video how I obtain those things. Once again, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, the health immunization form takes ages, ensure at least a year in advance that you're either getting them done or it's completed or you've got a record of everything already. I paid privately for a urine drug test to be done and a TB for some of them. And then for the federal police check, I went to the police department and got that done. It was a physical paper copy. So, because there are a few different bits and pieces that you need to sort out, ensure that you've done all of this way in advance so it doesn't hold up your application. For the police check, from what I've seen, they usually want it within three months of starting the elective, so it wouldn't be unreasonable to delay it till then. This is what it looks like to get the acceptance and then you get housing within Cleveland Clinic as well. Here's all the information about what to expect, where to get the uniform, and then here's just a quick video about some of the onboarding tasks that I had to complete. This was much briefer than the onboarding tasks that I had to complete as a resident. And here's the information about obtaining the badge. Here's some stuff about the onboarding process. Sometimes when you fly from another country and you have no idea where to go, some things like housing, um, visas, all of these things are quite complicated. So. Here's a snippet about the onboarding process. And in next week's episode, we're gonna talk about some other things that you can sort out from your, for your med student elective.